Welcome to Module 5 Basic Statistical Tools. So, under business research, basic stat tools is a must and should be considered in order to understand on how to properly achieve the end result. It serves as the first basic things to consider when computing the stat methods needed for the study. So, here uh, we will consider only the computation of the frequency and percentage and the mean, median, and mode. So let's start with the frequency and per percentage. Actually, frequency and percentage is applied to determine the distribution of response of the questions. Under research study, it is used to describe the profile of the participant by age, gender, educational attainment, employment status, civil status, type of businesses, monthly profitability, kind of customer, etc. It is the most applicable consideration when computing the demographic profile and the business profile of the research. Let us consider that N is the frequency and percentage is the end result based on the totality per profile. So I will give you three samples and uh, we will discuss it one by one. For the table number one, there are five branches of the business, namely A, B, C, D, and E. They earn a profit of 800,000, 1,500, 900,000, 200,000, and 1 million. So here, we need to produce a table wherein uh, we put first the name of the branches and then the end, which is the annual profit, and the percentage. So you need to consider that the totality of 800,000, 900,000, 2 million and 1 million will, will be your base. So the total is 6 million 200, so that will be your base. So how to compute? Again, because this is the base, this is the denominator. So 800,000 divided by 6 million 200 will be 12.9% for A. And for B, it is 1 million 500 divided by 6 million 200, so it will be 24.19% for B. 900,000 divided by 62, so it would be 14.52. 2 million divided by 62, it will be 32.26. And 1 million divided by 6.2, it will be 16.13%. So to, to, to total it all, it should be 100%. So this is the sample table when you are producing your frequency and percentage. This is how your table looks like when you are producing your figure. Uh, under pie chart, line chart, or by bar chart. So this one is more understandable by the reader, especially the panel. So under table number two or example number two, here you also need to consider capital of all branches at 1 million, 1 million 500, 1 million 200, 3 million, and 800,000. So you again, you prepare your table like this. Uh, putting your branches A, B, C, D, E and then the capital which, which will be the end so 1 million, 1 million 5 1 million 2, 3 million 800,000 so to total it all it is 7 million 500 so again your base is the 7 million 500 so it will be your divisor so 1 million over 7 5 will be 13.33% 1 million 500 over 7 5 will be 20%, 1,200,000 divided by 7,5 will be 16%, 3 million divided by 7,5 will be 40%, and 800,000 divided by 7,5 will be 11.16%. So you total it all, so total should be 100%. So again, after producing your table, you need to prepare your figure for this table. So, here's the table of capital in 1,000 pesos. So, this one is more understandable than seeing the table alone. You can also prepare a figure for your table A and B so, so that uh, it will be more understandable to the panelists and also to you as a researcher. So, you can prepare either a bar chart, a line chart, and you can also prepare a line chart with bar chart. So, to make it more clear and understandable. So your number three table is 
um, customer of nail aholics uh, which is Gen Z, Gen X, and Gen Y. So for Gen X, we have 120 customers. For Gen Y, we have 200 customers. And for Gen Z, we have 50 customers. So to total it all, it, uh, they are 370. So 370 will be your base. So for the percentage of Gen X, we have 120 over 370. So it will be 32.43%. Then for the Gen Y, we have 200 over 370, which is 5405 and for Gen C, which is 50 over 370, so we have 13.52. So to top it all, they are all 100%. So here's the result of your table 3 when you are preparing your um, pie chart and bar chart. This is the end of module 5, basic statistical tools. Actually, this is only basic. So, we will further discuss the different statistical methods that you can use on your business research.